Thank you for tuning in to Inside Taiwan. I'm Alvin Tan. President Ma Ying-jeou personally presided over the groundbreaking ceremony for the second phase of construction on the Danjiang Bridge. He said that during his term of office, he would not allow the Jingmen Bridge and the Danjiang Bridge to get lost in election campaigning. However, opposition legislators believe that these two bridges have been advocated for several years but were not built. Starting the groundbreaking now before the election was just a false start to win votes. Here's a look. President Ma Ying-jeou, Premier Mao Zhukuo, and New Taipei City Deputy Mayor Ho Yi held a groundbreaking ceremony together for the second phase of the Danjiang Bridge. President Ma said that the Jinmen and Danjiang bridges, as well as the meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping, which was a bridge of peace across the strait, were three bridges that he had hoped to schedule during his term in office and reach their goals. In particular, the Jinmen bridge and the Danjiang bridge were no longer just floating election promises. However, in the eyes of the opposition, the timing of starting construction on the two bridges, which Ma says have been talked about for nearly two decades but were not yet built is simply a form of lying to voters as it is now so close to the election. At a crucial moment before the election President Ma just visited the Jinmen Bridge and then took part in the groundbreaking ceremony at the Danjiang Bridge project. The Green Camp thus questioned the Kuomintang as just playing at checking off achievements. Regardless of the election, in the end, what the public really cares about is when the two bridges will actually open to traffic.